I think what we, what we say is we, we really welcome the announcement of Kenilworth Station. We've been waiting for it for a very long while. And the thing, the thing is that with Kenilworth Station and a lot of projects like that, there has been very, very strong evidence to say that building that station is a very good idea. Obviously it relies on double tracking, and I know that you're only thinking of electrifying so far. If you don't double track, there won't be any trains on the, at that station. But anyway, the thing is that there's evidence for Kenilworth Station. And for HS2, there is simply no evidence. You just look at the last couple of weeks, the National Audit Office unprecedented to do a report so early into a project and it is absolutely damning. We're now looking at what three consecutive major project to authorities, uh, major project to authority amber red ratings from November 11 to November 12. I'm assuming there's another one due this month and basically what we can see is you're going to Parliament in the next few weeks with a preparation bill asking for a blank cheque saying we need more money, Shame. we have no yeah. idea how much more money we need and you've just had what the 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 actual reassessment of the costings, like phase two of assessing the costings, and you're going on to phase three straight away. Now that t tells us that you have no confidence in those figures, and we have no confidence in those figures whatsoever, because we, we've, we've been living with this for years. We can see the plans, we can see the massive mistakes, we can see the, the plain idiocy of so much of what is being proposed with HS2, and it just simply seems that there is no case to justify it. You started off with a coalition agreement saying it would be great for the environment. We've seen in the papers today what we've always known, that it's, it, you know, it's not even going to be carbon neutral. Neutral. And when, you, when the DFT have been saying broadly carbon neutral, you've been ignoring the carbon construction costs there. Then it was going to be about the north-south divide, and it was going to be this magic one that was going to rebalance the economy. Now, all the evidence, again, says it's going to be the capital that is going to, that is going to benefit the most, and it will probably increase interregional discrepancies as well. And now what we're on about is capacity. And the thing is, there are so much more ways to increase capacity. From if Kenilworth Station gets open, you can get on the train to Leamington. You can now get down to London 25 minutes quicker on Chiltern Line because they spent their own money. You can go to Coventry when HS2 is built. Obviously, that will have a reduced service because you know the HS2 business model relies on three billion pounds worth of cuts to the existing rail network just on phase one. Or you can go across to Nuneaton, and of course, they've managed to shave 34 minutes off the time to get to London in the last couple of weeks simply by going to 110 miles an hour and you can have four, four carriage trains, eight carriage trains or 12 carriage trains on those London Midlands and that's what you need. One of the, the no-brainers of this, longer trains, better signalling, going to in-cab signalling. Last week we had the chief executive Patrick, of Virgin Trains. The, the chief executive of Virgin Trains said that this was a vanity project. Now, what do you say to all that? Right. Well, I'll try and answer. <laughs> it. I'll try and answer your your short questions. But uh, right, first, um, first and foremost, uh, the the truth. Look, the truth of the matter is, the easiest thing for the government to do would not be to build the railway line. That would be the idea. That would be. That would be. Let's go. Let's go with it. Let me just. Let me just. That That would. That would be easy. The simple fact is we have not built a new railway line north of London in 120 years. If you, look, if you look at the way in which every other European country is developing, they're going for high-speed rail. The truth, the truth, Portugal, the truth, Poland cancelled, Belgium cancelled, Holland bus. Portugal, so bad they cancelled it twice. Yeah, but the thing, the thing is, it's all of these points that you bring up, it's just simply not the case.